I'm gonna film a video, bitch. But what about? Oh, yeah. Like, so I gotta conform to the convention of, like, stating. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, YouTubers state at the beginning of their videos, like, oh, by the way, PSA, this video is about, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, I'm gonna fall for that one. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay, so, the most delightful thing that is in my awareness right now is that I am going to see my mama tomorrow. Um, I could just say that that is the next... I don't know, I don't know, because of like, you know how like in the power of now it's like, probably not because like you ain't made it, but like, it's about being in the moment, right? So if I say to myself, yeah, that like the next good thing that's going to happen to me is going to be going to my mama's tomorrow, then that leaves the question, well, does that mean then that nothing good will happen this evening? You know? Does it mean that? Does it mean that? Does it mean that? No, it does not mean that. No. Uh. Does not. Oh, the wind is howling, right? Oh, that's beautiful. You know, I'm really into, like... I know it ain't got, like, super-duper freaking cold. Okay. But I'm going to leave out the future, okay? I'm going to talk about the present in the spirit of the power of now, you know. It's a good book. Um, that... This fucking weather, man. Ain't it dope? I mean, like, it rain It didn't rain. It just rained like... I don't know if you could call it rain, because I, sm I was even smoking a fag. Do you know what I mean? If it was raining, I was smoking a fag. The fag would be fucked, wouldn't it? I it didn't even get one drop on it. I must have been, like, walking around, you know, in between, like, fucking the raindrops or something. Because, like, my fag didn't get a raindrop on it. But, like... Um, I had my arms out and I was spinning round, you know. Ah, oh, this is fucking brilliant, you know. Um, and I said something about how I love the winter, yeah. Though, like I say, I think it's more accurate to say, like, I love the right now, the weather right now, you know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, right now, what I'm thinking is I shouldn't have smoked that cigarette. You know, that's what I'm thinking, but... Um, It's just a thought and let it go. <laughs> I'm so grateful to um, Seafoam Kitten is her name. Um, for um, telling me that. Telling, telling me how to meditate because fuck knows, you know, it's all over fucking YouTube, yeah? Meditation. Well, it's like, I'm, I'm not naming the creators who I follow or like... Spiritual ones, yeah. I've got to be real, got to be myself. Look, this is the shit that I'm fucking into, right? And, like, I'm not going to talk about it on YouTube. You know what I mean? I know. I'll be fake as fuck. I'm fake as fuck. I'm fake as fuck. You know what I mean? 
like, anyway, yeah, so I'm so grateful to, um, Seafoam Kitten, because it's, it's so fucking hard, you know, to, nobody tells you how to meditate, do they? They just say that you should just do it. Meditate, 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 meditate. Never tell you how. You know, be brave enough and take responsibility for telling someone how to do it. Like, take that responsibility, you know. She took responsibility for that and she said how to meditate. You just, your thoughts come along like this and, you know, you think them and then you say, okay, that's fine. And then you go, whoo, next thought, please, <laughs> you know. Um, and that's how it works, you know what I mean? And I thought, that's fucking brilliant. Well, that's how I feel right now, that that is fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Well, some of the reason why I think it's brilliant, yeah, is because, like, I have been lit... Literally, not literally as in like kind of literally, but literally as in like no lie, yeah. I've been meditating all day up till about half an hour ago and I got up at, I don't know, six o'clock, six this morning, you know, 6.30, six o'clock, don't, not sure, you know. And I literally, I have been meditating all fucking day, you know. All fucking day. Um, I don't know. So, okay, so in the spirit of meditation, what's my next thought? Which is, what do I think about that? What do I think? And um, my answer to myself would be... Okay, so I take... I take the time for it to come along, wait for it to come along. That's, that's fucking important right there. Thoughts, right? Take time to brew. They need time to brew and develop. And I noticed something when talking to my doctor, yeah? When I spoke to her, she paused when she was listening. She paused as she was holding space for what I was saying, you know? And then, and then when it was my turn, I really had to stop and I paused for longer than she did, a lot longer. I really took my time. I said, okay, in a minute, you know, um, she says, you're going to process what I'm saying. I was like, okay, this will take a minute. Um, and it really took me a while before I nailed it. You know what I mean? Um... So, yeah. So, what... I don't know. I forget. I forget where I was. You know, I'd love to have, like, a really good memory, you know. Okay, let that be my next thought. I'd love to have a really good memory whereby I could remember my first thing that I said and then follow it up with what I actually wanted to put next. You know what I mean? I suppose I could, like... I could put that on my vision board, couldn't I? You know. I'll tell you what I'll do. Positive affirmation. I remember all my thoughts or I remember where, I know where I'm at, bitch. You know what I mean? As a positive um, affirmation, you know. I'll say that. that. That fucking deals with that, don't it? You know what I mean? Fucking deals with it. And, um... I love the way that... Stella Ray... Um... Proved, right? Positivity. Um... I don't know what the video is titled... It's probably something about positivity. It was quite a while ago as well. Um, something about positivity. She fucking proved it. She, pr she fucking proved it. 
with logic. She used logic and she proved it. I mean, it was fucking bravo. You know, if I, if Mother Hand weren't on the camera, you know, I'd be going like, bra, whoa, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, she did. She fucking proved it. It was fucking brilliant. Fucking classic. Classic! Um, it was. Yeah. Oh, I shook my hand and my bracelet didn't fall off. I was shaking my foundation, yeah. Oh, look what that looks like. I was shaking my foundation, right? And, um... Fucking hell. Yeah, my bracelet fell off. How long? Ten minutes. Oh, we got half an hour left. Oh, welcome. Welcome to my world. Allow your mind to be perverted by my deal. Allow my wrongness. Allow in my wrongness, bitch. Allow in my wrongness. <laughs> Allow my wrongness. <laughs> That's the title to this video. <laughs> Allow in my wrongness, bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's so funny. Allow in my wrongness, bitch. Oh, fuck. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm actually fucking crying. <laughs> oh, that's such a positive thing to laugh and to, for me to laugh until I cry is such a positive thing. You know what I mean? Positivity. I don't know. I mean, let's talk about positivity. To carry on about positivity. Okay, remember that affirmation. I know where I'm fucking at, bitch. Right. Um, positivity. Okay, so Stella Ray. No, I'm not a Stella Ray. It's what I'm thinking now about positivity. Let me hold space. Let me hold space for the... I'm going to have to watch this video again because I can't remember what the title is. Right, but, um... And it's 12.45, so it'll be about 12.30. 12.30, go 12.30 in and... Uh, yeah, positivity. Oh. Fuck it, you know, I was going to censor what I was saying then, but I thought, fuck it, you know, I, I think my memory has suffered. I think my memory has suffered. No, that's negative as fuck. I'm not... I don't know. Yeah, yeah. What it was, yeah, is that... Um, how do I put this? Okay, positivity really is just the start. The start. I mean, once I became practised at positivity... Um, I think I was doing it, yeah, for a while. And then I saw Stella Ray and she fucking proved it, right? And that was just another stepping stone on my path to, like, embracing positivity and practising it more and more deeply. And, um, I don't know, I, I, I just kind of went mad on it. And, um... And I kind of did, really. I was obs actually obsessed by positivity. Everything had to be positive, you know. And then I reached the stage of, like, letting out all my emotions, just being however I want to be, you know, and just being... I had to be really brave because... I was tripping the fuck out, yeah, um, in the doctor's surgery. I was fucking losing my fucking mind, yeah. But I just kept talking, you know, I just kept talking. And um, Alex, who's a receptionist, right, she says, just keeps talking, hell of a defence. And I was like, 
right word, you know, um, because like I was really paranoid. I just thought everybody was just like, oh, on me, you know, mauling me. <laughs> it just felt like everybody was fucking mauling me, man. That's how I felt. I swear to God. That's how I felt. I just felt like everybody was mauling me, you know. Um, I wasn't going or anything, but I just felt like everybody was mauling me. You know, it was... <laughs> it's saying, watch me on YouTube. Oh, if he knew the title to this video, man, he'd fucking want to watch it. Fucking want to watch it. Uh, but I'm going to leave that alone because that can get old. That can get old. That can get old fast. Oh, that was it. Let in my wrongness. That was it. Let in my wrongness. Yeah, okay. I'll leave that alone. Because things, they lose their... After the moment is gone, they lose... It's like it fades. Do you know what I mean? It fades. You, you can't... I don't know, you, you'd be like, that would be brain damage, you know what I mean, to be stuck in, like, the same moment for, like, ages, you know what I mean? I mean, you do, I mean, that's, like, it is a good thing, because, and it does happen sometimes, like, when something is actually that fucking funny, I remember being about seven years old, yeah, and, um, just, me and Nigel, yeah, my brother Nigel, right, um, we were really close, and, um, I just remember laughing and laughing and laughing and laugh and laughing for fucking ages, man. Fucking ages. I just remember laughing for fucking ages. You know? So, like, yeah. But with me, you know, I'm just... I don't know. I... Things just don't last. I mean, even when I was laughing my fucking head off, I mean, after about a minute, you know, it was let it go. You know what I mean? And that was it. And forget about it. You know what I mean? I was saying about brain damage, weren't I? It'd be like having brain damage. You're stuck in the same moment or feeling or trying to stay in one place. You st if you st This is the thing about change. If you try and stay in one place too long, you're literally ceasing to exist because life is movement, it's experience, it's, you know, fun and things happening, you know. Um, it's constant movement, constant change, right? That's what happiness is, you know, that's what life, the essence, let's get freaky here, the essence of life itself is things fucking happening, right? And um, the, the, the thing about resisting change is that it's trying to stay dead. It is literally, okay, I'll put it on me, yeah. If I was trying to resist change, and fuck knows I have resisted change. Oh my God, I gave myself pull, 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 mental illness, man. Fucking trying to resist change that had already fucking happened anyway. You know what I mean? Um, I literally seven, well, I'm saying like seven years. I just want to spit it out whether it's right or wrong, you know, seven years of, like, resisting a big change that happened in my life, you know, and putting myself through major depression. Um, though, um, I had been to prison. I've said this in previous videos. I had been to prison and I had been attacked a lot in the prison by the guards, you know. They restrain you, you know. Um, fucking hell. That's some nasty shit that they do right there. Because I nearly had my arm broken a few times. I put that much pressure on it. That And, like, 
I mean, you may think, well, you, they didn't break your arm. No, that's not it. It's that you know, I knew, right, that if they put one fucking millimetre more pressure on my arm, it was going to break. And I knew that. And imagine experiencing that and going through it. You know what I mean? It's fucking... It's fucking horrific. It's literally fucking horrific, you know. Um, and um, I feel that the trauma of... I've explained this before, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I feel that the trauma of um, experiencing those attacks... Um, I tried to commit suicide with rat poison. I was That was a serious suicide attempt, you know. I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, put it this way, I couldn't have eaten any more. I ate so much that I had trouble keeping it down in my stomach because I'll tell you something, it's like no self-respecting rat would eat that shit because one nibble, I mean, this is, this might be triggering to some people but one nibble on that, just tasting it, when I tasted it as I was eating it, I, I made sure that I ate enough, you know, what I thought was enough, you know what I mean? I gobbled it down, you know, and um, this is anticoagulant. I just, I feel that's relevant. Um, yeah, it was so foul that if I'd eaten, literally, if I'd eaten any more, I would have thrown the lot up. You know, and I was like, fuck's sake, I don't understand how these idiots can think. Because they ain't... No human who works with rat poison has tasted it in their mouth, like eating a whole fucking load of it. You know? No rat would fucking... I don't think they... I don't, I don't think they touch it. I think they eat it, you know? And then they're like, no, this is bad and leave it alone. I fucking believe that I... Fucking believe that. I fucking believe it. Because I've been there. You know what I mean? Um I know I got onto suicide. Yeah, I tried to commit suicide with rat poison, you know. That's that's what prison did to me. You know, and um this is completely fucking stolen off Teal Swan. You know, so I've referenced Teal Swan, so it's not theft because I'm saying it's hers um the completion process which is um and i i know right i fucking know and i i can say that because i know her enough to know that she would like it shared with people you know what i mean the completion process and i feel that a wound that i had when i was a child when my mum just yanked my arm when it was snowy and I bashed my nose because I was expressing emotions of extreme happiness because it was like, not the first time I'd seen snow, but I was about two years old. And um, so it would have been the second time I'd seen snow as like an aware person in my awareness. And I was so fucking happy and so ecstatic. And I was just, I just expressed how happy I was about the snow and she went mm, like that and I bashed my nose on the corner of a concrete step and it fucking it grazed so badly that I, I I had this scab that went my whole fucking nose was a scab no shit right she fucking did that to me yeah and um ever since then I mean I love my mum and um I'm not beg, you know what I mean, or apologise or whatever for what I'm saying, but I'll, I'll get I'll get around to that. How much I love her, um, but um, and I fucking really do, I really do, um, but um, that made me completely fucking shut down. I learnt then how to shut things down. That's when I learnt how to shut emotions down. I, I had anger towards her, but I had to swallow it because she was my caretaker and without her, I could not survive. Do you see what I mean? So I had to like 
just shut down my anger towards her, you know, and not say anything. You know what I mean? And she's used that against me all my life, you know. But I don't want to trash her because I don't want to trash her. Um, and actually, she scares me because... Okay, so let me just hold space for what I'm saying because I don't know which way to go. I don't know where to go next. I've got two options. I don't know where to go next. So this suppression of emotions, yeah, just got worse and worse and worse throughout my life. I mean, I... I hadn't worked for a while and um, I had to suppress my emotions even more because I, I don't know, I just I just did it more and more and more through my life and um, I, and then when I went to prison and got kicked the shit out of, you know, um, um, well not kicked but like, oh I don't want to go into it. Um, It just, I just, when, when I was in prison, yeah, I remember completely shutting down 100%. I actually shut down 100%, you know, and anything could happen to me. I was completely vulnerable to them, you know, they could come in my cell, they could have killed me, they could have done anything. Because I completely shut down everything, you know, and, um... I I carried on doing it even after I got out of prison, you know. And um, Teal Swan saved me. You know, literally with her completion process book. You know, I read it twice and then eventually, um, like, I, I don't know, like, a year, I suppose it's been a year since I read it last time, yeah. Um, could be a year and a half, not sure. Um... The words in that book, they kind of, they flow around inside like my, you, you know, like the sort of glow, you ha your aura. They flow around inside my aura and they, they sort of, because I, I, I heard the process, okay, I knew I didn't understand it, I knew that. But I knew that with faith, I would eventually, given enough time, understand it and be able to be able to do it. But I found it so fucking hard because I wouldn't get angry because anger was that one emotion that I the first, the very first emotion that I swallowed was anger. You know, I wanted to say to her, you know, excuse me, you just fucking bashed my nose off. What the fuck? You know what I mean? That's what I wanted. You know, I was two years old. Obviously, I wouldn't have spoken like that. But that's my emotion, my emotional body. That's what my emotional body was was trying to say. But I couldn't say it. I should have just fucking said it. You know, but I was too scared, you know. I mean... I'm doing the completion process right now. So what I do is I sit down with myself and I say, look, it's okay. You know, what you did then in that moment with your mum after that trauma ruined the whole of your fucking life. The decision made there ruined the whole of your fucking life, but you had no other choice, okay? Listen, baby. Believe me, you can trust me. You can trust me because I am you and you can trust me. You had no choice. And who I'm forgiving, actually, is not my mum, because I forgive her a long time ago, is myself. I'm forgiving myself for... You know what I'm saying. What what it's all around. I'm forgiving myself for that. You know, I forgive myself for ruining my 
I d it wasn't you who ruined your whole life. It was her, you know. Um, I just need to hold space for what's going on in my mind. I, I just, she says that, no, this is, this is really profound. I just want to take a moment, you know. I just want to take a moment because I've wanted to like actually do the completion process. And it says that exact thing that you sit down with your younger self who experienced the trauma. You trace that trauma back eventually. You know, it talks about how you get back to the trauma, the initial trauma, because there's traumas upon traumas and you can like trace them back. And you sit, you find the first trauma, the first trauma that happened in childhood, right? Because the prison was just a result of that first trauma. All the traumas in my life were a result of that initial trauma, you know, and um, you trace it back and then it actually tells, the book actually told me to sit with myself and just be there for myself. The child self who is going through, who has just experienced that trauma, I sit with my child self who's just been traumatised, because it says that all these traumas start in childhood, yeah? From zero to eight years, right? And um, I just I just be there for myself, and I just comfort myself, and I just say the right thing, you know, to myself. And that's the completion process, and I've just done it for the first time properly done the completion process you know and um like i say teal swan she saved me she completely fucking saved me there was one page one page in that book that was specifically meant for me right which which is the gray page i think there's actually two gray pages in that book but it's the second gray page right at the back, okay? The grey page nearest the back, right at the back of the book, yeah? Probably just a few pages away from the actual back of the book. And um, it says about this woman, yeah? And she, the completion process just didn't work on her. It just didn't work. Because her trauma was that when she was a child, she hit her sister and her mum told her, scorned her about something about having a temper or getting... No, it was getting angry. She said, you never get angry or something like that, yeah. Now I want to see you angry again or something like that, yeah. It doesn't say what the specific abuse was. But it gives you in, gave me enough to know that I needed to get angry, right? And um, I'd read the book twice... And there's one specific part of it about this soldier where it talks about him, his trauma they received during his childhood was that bad that he eventually tried to commit suicide. And that was a huge warning to me, a huge warning that I needed to heal the trauma inside me. A fucking huge warning. And it pushed me, that warning pushed me enough to listen to Teal when she said on that grey page, I interpreted it as that I needed to get angry, you know, and my whole life, since like, I have felt more and more and more so that anger is wrong or evil the older I got, you know, the older I got, the more I was against anger. It became my whole purpose, you know what I mean? Um, and it was really fucking hard for me to get angry, really fucking hard. You know, because it was the first emotion I needed to feel before all of the other emotions could flow in. You know what I mean? And um, it's it like I say, I read, I read that book for the second time, 
about like a year, year and a half ago. And it's taken like a year and a fucking half for me to, to heal. Literally. You know. But, um... I mean, yesterday I was, I was risking it big time because I was so scared. I was holding such intense fear energy that um, I became psychotic. And um, I started to enter like a magical reality where things were happening that couldn't possibly happen, you know, because that's not reality. But th these things were happening, you know what I mean? I entered a psychotic reality and eventually I had to take like a clonazepam to... Because the psychosis wasn't um, psychotic, it was manic psychosis, you know what I mean? Um, it was anxiety, it was anxiety, you know, um, but I, I, I was just, I was fucking determined that I was going to feel every emotion that was coming up. Right, and it's funny because, like, I did that for, like, an hour or two until when I took that pill, and that pill was like, I swallow the pill, and it's like, okay, baby, Okay, okay, listen, it's over, okay, give yourself time, give yourself time to process that, just give yourself time, it's over, it's over. You know, me letting out all my emotions for the first time I'd ever done in my life, you know, feeling everything that I was feeling, you know, it's the first time I'd done it. And um, I was probably quite, quite dope, actually. You know, the way I was just so free and so able to... Just everything I was feeling, I was just completely open with everybody about what I was feeling, you know. Completely open and there was a beautiful moment with Alex. I mean, this is me trying to say, like, I didn't offend anyone. Um, I'm I'm very defensive sometimes. Um, there was a beautiful moment with Alex when she tells me, this is a receptionist. <clears throat> I've just got a message. I'm just waiting for it to go back, back off. Yeah, there it goes. Um, drugs, you know. They want me to all night fat bags, you know. Um... I bet it's not good quality stuff, though. Um, that's kind of disturbing. I don't want people to think that, like, I'm a druggie who, like, is on, like, drugs, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to hold it down right now. Um, so yeah, um, I had this beautiful moment with Alex, right, and, um, where she told me she couldn't remember things, and I asked her how that made her feel, you know, because I always want to know more about something that's bothering a person. If something's bothering a person, I want to hear about it. It doesn't hurt me to hear what's bothering someone, right? It, it doesn't hurt me at all. It doesn't, it doesn't tear me even in the tiniest way. It doesn't, right? You know, because I choose people who are genuinely hurt and not on a negative sort of negative spiral where they're just like fucking, um, you know, just, I don't know. It's just, just thinking of somebody there, you know, um, they're genuinely hurt and they just, the only problem is they need to be heard, you know. So I asked her, how does that make you feel? And she says, out of it. I was like, thank you, thank you, you know, I really, really thanked her for saying that, you know, and she knew, I know that she knew that the reason I said that was because I felt out of it, you know, 
I was so grateful, you know. Um, it may have been only like a couple of hours of me letting out every emotion that I felt. And I, I feel that it's like amazing that like there's actually a pill and it's called clonazepam and there's like lorazepam as well. And there's probably a few other PAMs that do the same thing. Um, that I took it and it always works. You know, though... Okay, I'll tell you something here. And I have to be very quick because I'm running out of time. Um, I experienced this manic behaviour for about a week, and I didn't. I didn't know nothing about clonazepam and it being being the problem that I needed to take clonazepam. But all I need to do, right? It lasted a week, right? But it can only last like two hours. If I take one after like just two hours of feeling that way. It makes it go completely and it wipes it out. It stops me from having it for a whole week. It wipes it out. I, I can only, subjectively, I can only say that today, which is the day after, I've had no mania. I've had no, um, let me be precise, I've had no anxiety. You know, I, I, just, atta I just need to take one pill of this clonazepam and it breaks that cycle just breaks that cycle of um severe anxiety it perpetuates itself it's what i believe it perpetuates itself once it gets going it keeps going you know what i mean i just need to take one pill and it fucking squashes it like fuck you know what i mean but those pills are fucking dangerous because they numb they make you numb so you can feel no emotions no nothing they make you numb as fuck. It's probably so addictive. Anyway, I'll watch this video. It was 12.30, 12 minutes, 30 seconds. I have a look. I see what to call the title. And then, Bobby Gold, bitch. Okay, goodbye.